Hi guys, it's Ines. Welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a potions video and I'm going to do a review on the two newest products from Neutrogena. They are the Sheer Zinc Dry Touch Sunscreen SPF 50, um, Zinc Oxide, UVA and UVB. Uh, I have been using them for over two months now. This one is for face and this one is for body. And uh, I wear this one by itself and under the makeup as well. So if you are interested in my thoughts, then please keep on watching. It's actually very interesting how I got them because the other day I went to the drugstore planning to get the Neutrogena uh, Sensitive Skin SPF 60 uh, because at that time I thought that was the only one sunscreen from Neutrogena that is physical sunscreen and uh, my husband was uh, with me at that time so I told him what's the difference between physical and chemical sunscreen so please find it for me. Surprisingly, he found these two products uh, that are also um, uh, physical sunscreen and I was excited about it uh, apparently they're the two newest uh, products from Neutrogena so we were looking at uh, what's the difference between them and uh, the only uh, difference we found is that uh, one is two ounces and one is three ounces and they're the same prices as well I think it was $13 or so so we're like, um, we're not dumb. Of course, we're gonna take the three ounce one. So I took this one home. And uh, several days later, uh, Target was having a sunscreen uh, product promotion. And I was looking at their websites again and found these two products at the same time. So I looked at them again. And finally, I realized that one, the two uh, ounces one is actually for the face and the three ounce one is actually for the body. So I went ahead and got the face one. All right, now let's talk about the details. They both have 21.6% zinc oxide. If you compare to most of the physical sunscreens, this is not heavy at all. But if you compare to most of the chemical sunscreens, then this is not the most lightweighted because it is a fact that um, it is a lot easier for chemical sunscreens to be made thinner. Um, but physical sunscreens is just so much better for your skin and so much better for the environment as well. For me, I don't mind if it's not as thin as I want it to be. Uh, as a physical sunscreen, I'm very happy about it. Plus, it's very uh, easy to blend in. Um, the texture actually is similar uh, with the body sunscreen as well. Uh, I'm gonna show you both. This is the face version and this is the body version. Uh, so yeah, another difference actually is that um, the opening of the uh, face is a lot smaller than the body version. Uh, it makes sense because, uh, you know, uh, when you put it on your body, you want it to come out as quickly as much as you want. So look, um, it just blends in very well. Oh, by the way, I'm also planning to make a video about the difference between chemical and uh, physical sunscreens. So if you're interested in it, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button as well so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. It feels very hydrating when you apply it and it feels very smooth as well. Um, I personally have combination uh, skin type. Um, I don't feel um, very oily or dry uh, with this product and uh, it goes the same with the body version as well. Most physical sunscreens will leave a white cast on your skin unless it's a tinted version. Unfortunately, this one leaves a, leaves a white cast on your skin as well. Um, a lot of people don't like physical sunscreens because of this reason and this reason alone. My solution to it is that after I apply the sunscreen, I'll apply a layer of uh, tinted BB cream or I apply a darker shade of uh, foundation so that uh, the white cast wouldn't be as visible. However, uh, for the body version, uh, the white cast is not as visible, but it may not work for uh, darker skin. Um, if you have darker skin and if you have tried this product already, please leave a comment down below and let us know. For me, they have a very typical scent of most of the Neutrogena sunscreen products. If you have used a lot of them, then you know what I'm talking about. 
They are water resistant for about 80 minutes, so they're good for going to the beach. I normally use liquid foundation. It is very nice underneath makeup. Um, it's not greasy, it's not cakey, and it just feels nice. I wouldn't recommend it to people who have uh, acne, breakout, or skin peeling because the white cast in it will uh, actually magnify the imperfection of your skin. If you do choose to wear it, I would recommend it to use a tinted BB cream or a darker shade of uh, foundation afterwards. That way, the white cast wouldn't be as visible. Alright, I hope this video is helpful and uh, if you like it, give this video a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the bell button as well so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Share with the friends that you know and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!